you doing, Jack? Just watching Day's Watch. Hi, I'm Sam from Bay's Watch, and um, Bay's Watch is our monthly uh, feature. It's something that we, we brought in because we had lots of feature ideas, uh, and we really wanted to, um, hey. to kind of showcase what snooker's about <laughs> to, uh, to a new audience, really. Nice one, Huber. That black's not quite going to make our top 10 shots of the championship. Yeah, I grew up in Sheffield, so anyone who grows up in Sheffield is, is naturally going to be uh, a snooker fan. Um, you know, played it as a child, and it uh, was, was probably quite uncool at school as a result but of course you know now the game has changed massively and it's been a, a, a privilege really for me to be part of the, the journey from perhaps a more uncool sport to something which is now um, really competing with the top sports. I think there's there's definitely a, a kind of feeling that snooker is is kind of still in the in the 80s or, 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 or whatever and that's just not true at all you know we're, we're seeing on the tables all sorts of young faces uh, in the media side of it as well and we want to really reflect that in terms of our content. Of course, you've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all these things that didn't exist kind of 20 years ago. And so we have to fully utilize those platforms and of course, have a good time uh, in the process. Uh, definitely the highlight from, for me from Baywatch so far was going to visit Mark Williams after he'd won. He had an incredible um, victory in the World Championships, his third World Championship win. Um, and we went and kind of, surprised him at his home uh, and we kind of made it out as though he wasn't too happy to see us but actually he was very very accommodating uh, and it made a really nice feature. Mark we've been trying to get Ollie for weeks mate you're gonna have to find otherwise.